Hey, this is Raul and today we are going to review the Figo Float Air Cushion Seat. Now this has been sent to me by But It's Crazy on Instagram. You've probably seen this from multiple manufacturers. What it does essentially is it reduces your fatigue by giving your backside a necessary air cushion while you're riding over long periods of time like when you're doing long tours, you know, saddle sore. Well, this is going to give you freedom from that soreness and you're going to enjoy those long time rides and even I've been using it on my Sunday rides 200 kilometers I still haven't had a chance to do a very long tour with it but I don't use it day to day because you cannot leave this on your motorcycle because it's very easy to attach it's very easy to detach as well and for our country you know it can just get stolen so I'm not a big fan of that until unless you've got a closed parking space you cannot keep this one left on the seat all the time the material the top side is of leather it's got nice stitching detail of pink detailing I would have definitely wanted a different color because no motorcycle I know comes in this kind of pink stitching maybe red or orange would have been nice or maybe even the sand tan color of stitching but the stitching detail is very nice no false stitching or uh, the detail and fit and finish quality is pretty good again on the bottom you have leather so these are the abrasion areas where your jeans riding jeans and all that's gonna rub maximum so that's why they made them out of leather and the center part is mesh so this is very close to what we get on our riding jackets and all that so that is the mesh mesh part the rear part is again made of leather now one question you might ask me is that this is leather so obviously this is not waterproof so they have given us a rain cover you have to put the rain cover on this and then it's, it will be slipping around much it will not be like your uh, stock seat on the motorcycle which is waterproof as well as gives you nice grip but that's a downside of this you have to put in the rain cover, cover when you're riding in rain rest of the time it is really grippy the mesh surface grips to your backside pretty nicely and if you are wondering how you are getting this uh, nice soft cushioning feel well it's pretty easy you have a chain system on the top and then when you take this out it's pretty snug so it doesn't move around that much but there is a point here multiple cushion pockets they could have done it a single pocket but they have done multiple cushion pockets so that the pressure points don't build up over a single portion it distributes your pressure evenly so when people are using like high-end mattresses you can see a similar sort of design in compartmentalized foam or or even your cotton whichever goes into the mattress but when it's compartmentalized what happens is it doesn't bunch up in one area it distributes the pressure more evenly so that's the basis of this compartmentalized design on top you have this space which is you can just loosen it up and the air goes out and then you have to blow the air in at first i was thinking like would you require any sort of special pumps to it or not figures that not nothing is required so now that we have filled it with proper air pressure let's see what this does when you're pressing into the seat it's going to compress a little bit and then it's going to hold so that's going to give you the suspension like feeling it's like the nike air max technology in sneakers which kind of gives you an air cushion sole this is like the air cushion seat so it's supposed to be like this kind of flexible not completely flexible not like a balloon not like a hard shock absorber like my ktm's front shock absorber it's just balanced in the middle and then this is going to give you good comfort over long rides do I really need to use it over day-to-day -day rides? Not much, but I don't ride day-to-day -day that long distance. If you're doing 60, 70, 80 kilometers per day, maybe if you're suffering from back pain and you don't want to listen to your doctor and give up your riding, this might be the solution for you. So if you guys want to buy this, I've always left the links in the video description. And I think this is an affordable product. It's made very well, so I think it's gonna last. If you buy one, it's not gonna give up on you the, on the next riding season. From the seat size, I think this is for Royal Enfield. And for my motorcycle, it does fit very well, but doesn't look so well because the seat shape doesn't match the seat shape of my new 390. So probably if 
they get good response from KTM riders and other riders they will probably be making this in different shapes for different motorcycles that should be a good thing I personally feel that while I'm doing track day I'm doing cornering and all that I wouldn't want to be on a seat like this but while I'm doing touring while I'm relaxed this is the way so let's go over to the road test and see what we can find out installing the seat and we're doing this live so that you know there's no Pokey pokey, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. You just get it around. Uh, so that's how you do it. And then get the other part. If your bike's hot from riding, be a bit careful because you don't want to. So you know. It's not that difficult to install, it's just, it just takes a couple of minutes. Maybe less than that because you see I, I just did it in front of you. It's on pretty securely. It adds about, I would say about 15 millimeters of seat height. That's just more than an inch. And if you're a shorter rider already struggling to reach the seat, and that might not be a good feeling also since this is an air cushion seat it does move around a fair bit and that means while you're doing cornering and stuff like that you won't really like that mushy feeling you can adjust the air pressure inside the seat depending upon your preferences i think i need a bit more air because uh, well Adding more air will probably increase the height a little bit, but it also make the seat a bit firmer. Right now it's just like, oh horse. Uh, right now it's like I'm riding practically on a, on a sofa. So here's the thing about seats. If they're too soft, that's not actually a good thing because that might feel good while you're riding on a shorter distance while you're riding on a longer distance um, that can cause a lower back pain maybe we should go over some bad patches of road like and and see if it if it makes any difference find some i like to go over them and like i just went over a small one and I'll tell you whether this is any better or not. So from the feedback from the small bump, yeah, there is a difference. There is a difference. I mean, usually I do feel those bumps hard on, on the backside, rear side, you know. This time, it wasn't that way. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. Hi. I am contact with you. I suggest 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 you. I you. I'm kind of sliding up front on the seat, which doesn't happen with a stock seat. Yeah, did a bunch of uh, bumps and uh, it does glide over bumps even uh, the Duke has a really hard suspension so the work the seat is doing is really commendable I do agree that on bad patches of road it is it is absorbing up a lot of bumps the only downside is that I do feel a little bit more pressure uh, than the stock seat when when I'm going over normal roads so I I think that can be adjusted if I can increase the air pressure a little bit and I'm sliding up on the front of the seat this is because I believe it's because uh, this uh, motorcycle the seat is not designed for KTM it's not exactly in the shape of the KTM it's it's in the shape of something else so so that's the seat this is uh, the float the fago float 
air cushion seat overall i'm impressed i think it will work better with royal enfield motorcycles and i do want them to make one exactly in my seat ergonomically so that it feels a little bit better i do recommend it to you if you guys are interested in uh, buying it for your royal enfield motorcycles for ktm it's good but it could be a little bit better if, especially if they can work with the same ergonomics because what's happening is here um, I think you can see that it's kind of curved in an awkward way so I'm kind of slipping down from this area and I'm lining up in this so that's the only problem that I'm facing from this seat everything else is perfect it does work like it's advertised it does take in all that bumps from those uh, bad patches of road on a good patch of road you don't really feel much difference but you know while you're touring you do encounter a lot of bad patches so there there's this huge difference that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this review thanks for watching and i'll see you very very soon this is raul goodbye